Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about AC2 auto scaling and launch templates. So basically we will be using these uh, launch templates. So when we are going to create this auto scaling group. So let's go ahead and see how it is done. So for this, initially you have to create the launch templates. So click launch templates here. So already we have created one. Uh, so let me show you how this is done. So create a launch template. So basically we are uh, pre-configuring this AC2 instance. So instead of, you know, uh, launching each instance separately, we are creating this template so that, you know, we can use uh, this template later on. So coming to the definition of this uh, launch template and AWS launch template is a configuration that simplifies and automates the process of launching instances in Amazon Web Services. So it allows you to uh, define settings for EC2 instance, such as instance type, storage, security groups, and many more, making it easier to create consistent and customizable instance. Launching instance helps to streamline the instance uh, launch process and can be used with uh, services like auto scaling and EC2 fleet for efficient and scalable deployments. So that is what we are doing right now, which we are going to use in uh, auto scaling. So write the template name. So previously I used uh, EC2 template two, and you can give the version. In this case, I'll just give it as uh, version 2.0. And uh, I'm just leaving the uh, rest of it as a default for now. And uh, let me go down. Let's call it start just a second, yeah. So in this case, I'm using uh, Amazon Linux. And uh, coming to the instance type, I'll be using the basic one, which is the free version, so T2 Micro. Select this one and uh, key pair. Okay, so I'll just use my key one, which we're uh, using for a long time. So network settings and everything, I'll just leave it as default. Uh, we'll be configuring this uh, when we are using this auto scaling group. So I'll be uh, leaving everything as default. And for example, if you want to run the web server, you can use this uh, user data, which we have seen in the previous videos. So saying that, uh, I think we have configured it. Let's go ahead and create launch. So we have launched it. So let's click that. So this is the other template that we have created. Go to the launch templates, the second template. So we'll be using this uh, AC2 template too uh, in these auto scaling groups, right? So let's go ahead and create one. So here you can see auto scaling groups. So click that. So you can see we have minimum size, uh, uh, scale out of has needed desired capacity and maximum size. So we'll be discussing about this one, uh, you know, just in a few seconds. So whenever there is more requirement, more instances will be, you know, uh, launched. And when there is less, less instance will be launched. So based on the demand, uh, it will be auto scaling. So let's go ahead and create an uh, auto scaling group. So in this case, I'll be using, uh, auto scale group one. And here you have to use the launch template, which we have just created, right? So we have two EC2 instance and EC2, sorry, EC2 template and EC2 template two. So we have uh, created template two right now. So click that template two. And uh, coming to this definition of uh, auto scaling group, auto scaling group in EC2 instance uh, are the features that automatically adjust the number of EC2 instance to handle change in the workload. So they ensure that uh, you have the right amount of uh, compute capacity to meet the application needs. So auto scaling groups can launch and terminate instance based on the policies you define, helping you to maintain applications, availability, distribution, uh, traffic, and manage the cost efficiently. So saying that, let's go to the next section. And I'll just leave it everything as default for now. And we have our VPC uh, for more availability. I'm just selecting uh, the subnet. So I'll be using three subnets in this case. And uh, you can select, you know, based on your priority. Uh, let's go to the next section. And uh, if you want to add load balancing, you can add the load balancer. But in this case, I'm just limiting, uh, limiting as default. And uh, you have uh, VPC lattice integrations. Basically, you can use this uh, Amazon VPC lattice to manage the flow of traffic and API calls between your applications and services that runs on a separate AWS resources. So VPC uh, Lattice is an application networking service that you can use to connect, secure, and monitor all the services across multiple uh, accounts and uh, virtual private clouds. So that is the definition according to the docs. So we'll be discussing more about in the further videos though. So rest uh, everything, I'll just keep it as default. And this is the health check or uh, grace period. So in this case, we have used uh, uh, you know 300 seconds. So you can just change it uh, based on your needs. So everything, I'll just leave it as default. 
just go to the next section and here you have desired capacity maximum capacity or oh, sorry minimum capacity and maximum capacity which we have just seen in the uh, just few seconds ago so coming to the desired capacity this is the target uh, number of the instance you want your auto scaling group to maintain at any given time so auto scale uh, auto scaling will automatically adjust the number to the instance to match this desired capacity so coming to the minimum capacity it represents the lowest number of instance that auto scaling will maintain even during the periods of low demand so it ensures a baseline level of uh, capacity to handle this traffic coming to the maximum capacity it sets the upper limit uh, for the number of instances that auto scaling can uh, scale up to during uh, periods of high demand so it prevents overscaling uh, and helps to control the cost so in this case i'll just leave it as default capacity as one minimum capacity as one and maximum i'll be using three in this case and uh, rest everything i'll just leave it as default for now let's go to the next so you can add the notifications so we have uh, talked about uh, you know sns topic uh, before so in this case we have created this alert so whenever we created this cloud watch i have created this alert one and alert two so whenever uh, you know these event types happen I, i'll be getting those emails so i'll be just using alert one and uh, just go next if you want to add tax you can and uh, so we have created this auto scaling group and you can uh, create the launch instance so before that let's go to the ec2 instance so here go to ec2 so if you see our instance uh, there are no instances as of now right so these were uh, the one that i have created previously so if you see there is no running instance everything is terminated so let's go ahead and launch this so according to this group there should be at least one instance that is running right the desired capacity is one so let's go ahead and create this uh, auto scaling group and let's see if there is you know updating capacity uh, we should be seeing an instance uh, launching there you go you see uh, there is uh, one instance which is in pending states since uh, since our desired capacity is one uh, it's launching uh, that one instance so based on this demand it will be you know fluctuating so if i uh, uh, select this there you go instance one desired capacity one minimum one and maximum three uh, so the availability zones that we have selected here so if you select this auto scaling group let's say for example if you change these capacities so right now decided one minimum is one and maximum three for example, if you edit and change these capacities, for example, let's say if you uh, desired capacity is 20 and uh, the minimum capacity is 1 and the maximum is, let's say, 30. So whenever you update this, there will be 20 instances launching. All right. So if you refresh this, you see we have uh, one instance that is running and which is initializing. So once it is uh, done, let's change these, uh, you know, settings. So we'll be adding uh, uh, let's say we add desired two and uh, even the minimum as two let's keep it as maximum as three so i'm use i'm playing with the small numbers here you can play with the big numbers yeah. if you want uh, but i will prefer uh, small numbers though so it's running meanwhile okay let's update it let's update to desired capacity two and uh, you'll be seeing there will be other instance which will be initializing so let's update it so updating the capacity and if you see here let's refresh this there should be other instance so uh, which should be uh you know coming in just a few seconds refresh again there you go you see there is an instance which is in pending state so it started running so this is how uh, the auto scaling groups work so yep I hope you guys have understood the concept of these auto scaling groups and uh, launch template. So if you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.